A monster attacks Pikes Peak, Top Gear gets in hot water, the new Mitsubishi Evo surfaces in Germany, and thanks to the Fastlane Daily fans for helping us hit the 1 million plus mark on last Monday's episode. I'm Ji Young Min, and this is Fastlane Daily. They call him the monster. Japanese auto sports legend Noburo Tajima blasted up Pikes Peak in Colorado this past weekend, setting a new world record in the time attack class. It was at the International Hill Climb, a race to the top of the 14, 110-foot mountain held since 1916. A noted rally champion in Japan, Tajima completed the 12-mile course and its 156 turns in just over 10 minutes, beating a previous record set by rally driver Rod Millen. Tajima made the run in a mid-engine Suzuki Sport XL7, producing more than 1,000 horsepower. Happy, but unsatisfied, Tajima says his next goal is to break the 10-minute barrier next year. British car show Top Gear has some explaining to do. According to reports in the UK media, the BBC show recently attempted a stunt involving three homemade amphibious cars and the treacherous English Channel. You can guess where this is going. Instead of making it across the treacherous waterway, two of the cars, or is that really crappy boats, reportedly sank just minutes into a trip to France. According to reports, the show's hosts set off from Dover in three vehicles. Jeremy Clarkson in a Nissan 4x4, Richard Hammond in a Volkswagen camper fitted with a propeller, and James May in a Triumph Herald sports car. Apparently, only the Nissan survived the trip. But according to Coast Guard officials, the show failed to make the hourly safety calls required for the crossing attempt. The show will run on the BBC this fall. Next up, a new Mitsubishi Evo shows up in Germany. It's in the internet rumor mill after this. So my favorite year for cars, I guess, would have to be 1984. My first car was an 84 Mazda B2000. My second car... <laughs> A story for Fastlane Daily? We want to know about it. Give us a call at 213-291-1883 or tips at FastlaneDaily.com. If you just can't wait, send us an aim at Fastlane Daily. And don't forget to subscribe to Fastlane Daily on your favorite internet video provider. Fans of the Mitsubishi Evo are on the edge of their seats waiting for the next Evo X to hit the streets. The 10th edition of Mitsubishi's beloved turbocharged all-wheel drive Lancer is due to be unveiled later this year. The company's already released teaser shots of the X model. Now a late Evo prototype was caught tearing up Germany's Nürburgring. Word is the new model will get more than 300 horsepower from the 2-liter 4-cylinder engine along with a new 6-speed transmission fitted with a twin-clutch auto manual setup. That means firing off upshifts will be as easy as clicking one of the paddle shifters and hanging on. That wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. Tune in tomorrow when we cross the East River in a rented Lamborghini. See ya.